clarity. My company was driving me crazy. I was defined by my social security, pressured to dress up too sexually. I added perfume on my complexity by a fake personality. I wanted to do it by my own. I was fine in my comfort zone. I stood as if I had strong bones, fighting to not be alone. I thought if I had money, car, and career, I would never shed any tear, and everything would be clear. But instead, I kept living in fear, fear of rejection, which led me to depression, fear of failure, which led to anger. Until I met someone greater, who had more than an answer, who can turn anything bitter into better, also known as a savior. Nobody knows that you are fighting with your low self-esteem. Even though you take the best selfies, you find yourself doing the craziest things. You want to be like Lupita Nyong'o when you still don't know what you were created for. I mean, you don't care as long as you never miss your favorite TV show. Jesus supposedly died to save you, and it's hard to believe he loves you, because honestly, you couldn't love you. He saw the best in you even when you didn't know you. Jesus doesn't fit into description. He is bigger than your definition. You are the reason of his crucifixion. So why don't you give him your submission when the Holy Spirit has given you the conviction? Don't use religion to hide your infection. You will rather hold on your tradition than his revelation. Lack of clarity leads to self-destruction. He owes you nothing, yet he gave you everything. You don't love him as much as you love your sin. Your God is your skin, wondering why you never win. Living in sleepless nights, spending all your money and weekends taking shots because of lack of wretched sight. You have undervalued the worth of your life. You're getting closer to your death instead of your best. Nothing makes you stand out from the rest. What is faith if it's not put on the test? Your friends are making you compressed instead of blessed. Don't you know the bad company corrupts a good character? <laughs> Giving him your fidelity, receiving in him eternity, and making him your priority. 
your clarity? Is it needing him terribly, obeying his word carefully, loving and praying for your enemy, and making his commands your melody? Your clarity is in giving him your impurity. Stop living in your insecurity. No need to seek popularity, but live a life that is extraordinary. Your clarity is in more of his glory and less of your party, more of his holy therapy and less of trusting your complexity. Your clarity is in knowing that your beauty is not in your booty or just because they call you shorty. You were formed in Proverbs 31 beautifully. Do you see his grace when you look at your face? Or do they make you feel out of place by making you feel like you're out of space? Because you refuse to stay the same after testing his grace. And they judge you because you now want to leave a trace. They tell you that your clarity doesn't make sense. There is nothing you can ever do that will make him love you less. Because his love is endless. In him you will find rest and happiness. He will be your strength in whatever you face through his grace. It's not about where you've been, but where you're headed. Don't go back in bondage when he made you boundless. His pain on the cross should make you feel less. Because if you had the right lenses, you would know that your worth to him is preciously, preciously, priceless.